Guys, welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. Mr. 21 Savage is back in the news again. At this time, he's asking the city of Atlanta to put their guns down. So today, he tweeted out, Atlanta, we have to do better. Put the effing guns down. And he did get met with a lot of backlash. And he responded by saying, a song is for entertainment. It's not an instruction manual on how to live life. In real life, I give away a lot of money and spread financial literacy to my community. Stop trying to make me one dimensional. So Mr. Slaughter Gang is Murder Gang is 21, 21, 21 is asking the city of Atlanta to put their guns down. Now guys, I know a lot of you guys are not going to agree with this. You're going to call him a hypocrite giving his song lyrics. But let's not shoot the message just because of who the messenger is, all right? For those who don't know, here are some of 21 Savage's lyrics. So, for example, on the song Jimmy Crooks with Drake, he said, Spin a block twice like it ain't nowhere to park. Smack the back head of his head like he barked. Over 4L, we come out when it get dark. Big stepper, he came in a rose but he left in a stretcher. So this is one of the lyrics coming from the guy asking the city of Atlanta to put their guns down. How about some more? Put your hands in the air. It's a stick up. Spin the same hood where I get my suck. Put your guns down, guys. Here's another song that he actually put out. So the lyric says, brand new Draco, ready to crash like. When the socks go down, I'm rich for real. I could press a button and make the ops go down. As I show you, this is the guy asking the city of Atlanta to put their guns down. But guys, despite this, he's telling the truth. Things have gotten really bad in Atlanta. But let me ask you a question. I mean, y'all can be mad at him all you want, but Mr. Spin the Block twice, yes, listening to some of his songs, it makes you ready to spin the block for real. It makes you really ready to do a drill. But we have to be fair. He is telling the truth. The city of Atlanta has gotten really out of hand. And on top of that, let's play devil's advocate. Can you name on top of your head 10 lyrical positive rappers that are selling and doing very well in the music industry? Can you? I'm pretty sure you can. I know people will say that, oh, it's the record labels that are pushing all this violence, all these drugs. Yes, it can be true to a certain extent, but rappers who are lyrical and have positive messages, you, the consumer, a lot of people do not even support them. They don't take the time to listen to their music. Write it off, they brush it off, they think it's whack, they think it's boring, you can't bop to it, you can't twerk to it, you can't get lit to it, you can't turn up to it. At the end of the day, the lyrical rappers with positive messages they do not get any support. The music industry is a business. And if 21 isn't selling, he would have gotten shelved. And people love to listen to songs that are about shooting, ops, spinning the block. You have to give the customer what they want. And by what they choose to play and listen to, it's songs that focus on booty shaking, ops, shooting, spinning the block, money, woman, being fly. So you can't really put all the blame on 21 Savage. You can't put all the blame on the music industry, this is what the consumers like. They don't like positive things. They find it boring. They don't support lyrical rappers. They support the ones that are about savage lyrics, like 21 Savage. Things have gotten so bad in Atlanta. Atlanta's like the new Chicago right now. There's killings every week. You have people on TikTok that actually live in Atlanta that are warning people about Atlanta. Check this video out real quick. Hey girl, I look at you already know I'm from Atlanta, so you know what we about to do. Places have got to go to an Atlanta part Downtown Atlanta. Now I know, I know, I know. That's supposed to be one of the safest places to go to. We're not here. If you with somebody, it's cool. And it's cool in the daytime. But at night, don't be down there by, you, by yourself. They got all kind of crazy ass J's down there and all kind of stuff. They got a great hunt across the street from that city. And that's all I'm saying. Number two, Lenny Small. Now I know, I know what y'all thinking. It's in Buckhead. That should be safe. No, it ain't. Now if you want to go in there, you know, quick in, in and out, get your clothes, get your drip, get up out of there. This is not safe. They rob stealing and killing. Oh, yeah, I'm just telling you. So, guys, I'll have a link. Please make sure to support her channel. I'll have a link to her TikTok video. You can check it out for yourself. Guys, it's no coincidence that Gunna Young Thug got taken down. Allegedly, all these violent crimes that have been going on, their crew has been participating in it. They've had rival beefs, shootings with other gangs in Atlanta, and innocent bystanders have been impacted by this. It's gotten really bad. Check this out. Four dead, multiple injured during violent weekend in Atlanta. This just came out today. Another one. 11 shot in less than five hours in Atlanta as gun violence 
Plague's City. Guys, I'm sorry, but yes, 21 Savage, he has contributed to a certain extent with some of his lyrics to some of the violence, but we have to be honest, Atlanta has gotten out of hand. And honestly, there's a lot of people that do listen to 21 Savage, that listen to drill music, music about ops, music about shooting, but they don't actually go out there and actually go do it. Yes, rap music does play a part, but we have to hold these people accountable. They're grown. Like 21 said, these are not instruction manuals to go out there and shoot, but people love to blame the shootings on rap music. Honestly, <sighs> I mean, I see where they're coming from, but you have to hold yourself accountable, man. 21 Savage and a lot of these rappers, they have a lot of fans all over the world. But those fans are not all out there trying to spin a block and catch a body. The streets of Atlanta has gotten out of hands, and the streets need to be cleaned up. The unfortunate and sad part about all of this, the whole we need to do better, not just for Atlanta, but in cities all across America, has been pushed since the beginning of times. But nothing ever changes and violence continues to rise. That is sad. That is very sad. So guys, let me know what you think. And with that being said, I am out.